commenting code, adding for and next loops, and generally expanding the functionality of the FreeMyMind VB script for optimizing your RAM. Assuming you've done the previous tutorial about how the freemymind.vbs file works in order to free your memory, this version is going to be a little smarter about how it does it. The core code is basically the same, but we've used a for and next loop in order to better go through and allocate how much memory we ought to be able to free up rather than just picking a number. We've also added code commenting so that when we go back and look at our code, we'll understand what it does and how it works. The first line of our code is now a comment. It starts with an apostrophe. In VB script, we use apostrophes or single quotes, depending on who you are and what you're doing, to comment code. In PHP, you use two slashes. In some languages, you use the hash sign, the pound sign, the number sign, whichever word you like for that, the tic-tac-toe square. <clears throat> in some, you use the asterisk, star, but in VB script, it's the apostrophe. So our first line of code just says, this version of the code will free only as much RAM as you should have free, which is kind of true. It's not perfect, but that's what the goal is. The second line sets an object that is the Windows Management Service and is what's used for getting the processes. I don't want to explain that bit of code. It's a little more advanced than what we should be working on right now, but it's necessary in order to do what we're going to do. So that's what it is. The next one gets a collection of objects by executing a query from the Windows 32 process list. And again, that bit of code is a little more complex than we're probably ready to fully understand, but understand that we are getting the list of processes that are running on your system. Then we're going to loop through the list of processes and add up how much RAM they use. So for each item in the collection of objects, we're going to go through the collection of objects we're going to calculate the amount of memory that is used by that object, which is known as the working set size. And we want the integer value of the working set size. And that's because normally when we run this query, it's going to return the number as a string. If you have one, two, three as a string and four, five, six as a string, and you plus them in VBScript, you don't get one, two, three, plus four, five, six, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, as opposed to the value that's going to be, you know, 500 and change that would be if you added those two numbers. So what we're going to do is say, okay, the first process that's running is notepad.exe. Okay, notepad.exe is taking up four bags of RAM. What's the next process? Oh, it's paint. Okay, paint's taking six megs of RAM. So we're going to add four plus six, and we're going to get 10. I'm going to do that for all the processes that are running on the system. Then we're going to display on screen using the wscript.echo that was like the hello world example and say the process memory used equals and our total from before and then because we want to display it in megabytes we're going to divide by 1024 and then divide by 1024 again. So we're going to go to kilobytes megabytes. Then we're going to calculate the amount of RAM that we're going to attempt to free, and that's this mem to free function. And I like to work in gigabytes, so I've said four, because my system has four gigabytes. If you have two gigabytes, set this to two. If you have 12 gigabytes, set this to 12, but in my example it's set to four. Four times 1024 times 1024 times 1024. So kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes. Now I could have done that all as one operation instead of having 1024, 1024, 1024. But for readability of the code, it's a lot easier to look at it and say, hey, that's four gigabytes because it's 4,024, 1024, 1024. Yes, I could put a comment at the end of the line that said four and then the million ish number so that it would know that it was gigabytes, but, or sorry, billion ish number so that they would know that it was gigabytes, but this is the way I prefer to do it because 
then I can copy and paste this code and I can quickly know that I need to change, hey, I'm off by three orders of magnitude or whatever. Then we're going to display that amount. And because we worked in megs before, we're going to convert it back to, to megs. Um, then we're going to create 10 variables, each with one-tenth that amount of RAM allocated. Now, we need 10, even though we're only going to allocate five variables, because when you allocate memory, you actually allocate a temporary memory buffer, and then you write it to the actual memory. So you end up using twice as much RAM briefly until VB does some of its garbage collection. And because there's no time in between these, garbage collection isn't likely to have occurred. So what we're going to do is we're going to put half as much memory into the variables, but the temporary variables will fill up the entire amount. So we'll use 10 times even though we only allocate 5. When you run this code, it is going to delay your system briefly. Like, it is going to look slow for a brief period of time. And that's because we are truly going to put a lot of load on the system. So here we have the task manager. We currently have 1.91 gigs of used memory. We're going to run the free my mind. It says that processes are using 1.4. We're going to push OK. It's going to, it says we're going to try and free 2.6 gigs. It actually says 268.3 and some long numbers. But we push OK. And our memory spikes all the way up, and then poof, it falls down, and we're at 1.16, so we've freed 800 megs of, of RAM. And because this is tuned fairly well, it doesn't crash the system, but it does push the system pretty hard for a brief period of time. So if you've got something else on the screen, you may see that it runs a little bit slow. But this version should be easier on your system than the last version. Uh, it's interactive, and unlike the previous version, it's a little easier to tune how much memory it's going to attempt to free. So, there you have it. That's the new version of the Free My Mind VBS. We'll be adding more functionality in future videos, but each time I'm trying to take you in baby steps so you can see how the code works. So, there you have it. Enjoy!